Today we're going to do some more complicated addition and subtraction sums. And one of the key things that we need to, in order to understand this is we need to understand how positive and negative numbers are opposites of each other. And so basically what I'm meaning by this is if you've got a positive one, it's sort of opposite, its inverse partner is negative one. And if you put a positive one and a negative one together, you add them together, you get a zero. This is just like if you think about it, if you add one and then subtract one, you just get back to where you started, right? They neutralize each other. So if you put together a positive one and a negative one, you get back to zero. Uh, and another way we could sort of think about it just for fun is we could think about it as if these sort of the red, the positive ones are like hot blocks and the negative one is a sort of negative, it's a cold ice block. So you've got a hot block and a, neg and a cold block. If you put a hot and a cold together, then you get back to just a neutral zero temperature. So <laughs> any time we put together a negative one, a cold block and a hot block, it ends up as a zero. And we match up a cold block and a hot block, it's just a zero. Negative one, positive one, match together, give you zero. So this means if we look at something like this, what number do we see here? Well, if we have a look, this is a zero pair, this is a zero pair, and this is a zero pair. And then we have one, two, three, four positives. So this is four. And if we think of it in terms of our hot cold mix, these have all neutralized each other. And so we're just four in the hots. Okay, now we're going to see how we can use this idea to do a calculation like the following for take away positive two. So when we're doing four take away positive two, we need to start with four which we do have here, because remember, all of these are zeros, and so we've got four. And then we need to take away two of the positives, so we're going to take away two of the positives. Now, before we actually go ahead and do that, let's just think about it in terms of our hot and cold story. If we're going to be taking away two hots, right? So in other words, we are taking away some of the hot. Are we going to get hot, hotter or colder? Well, clearly, if you take away some hot, you're going to get colder. So we expect to see it drop, this 4 to drop. Let's go ahead and take away those two positives. So let's take one, two of them away. What are we left with? Well, here we have zeros, and this is just two. So we're left with two. And this should make sense to you. All of your life, you've known that if you take, you've got four and you take away two, you're going to get left with two. Positive two is just two, right? So four take away two is two. Okay, an easy one. Let's go on. Okay, here we have another easy one. If you start with four, and again, you can see that this is your four, and you're going to add in some hot. Well, what do you expect? If you're going to add in two hots, you expect the temperature to go up. Let's go ahead and add in those two hots. So we add in one, two hots. And so what do we end up with as our temperature? Well, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have a temperature of six. And that should again make sense. Four plus two, you've always known, is six. And positive two is just two. Okay, let's do a little more interesting calculation. Let's suppose we want to do 4 take away negative 2. So here we want to start with 4 and then we're going to take away negative 2. We're taking away 2 of the colds, 2 of the blues. So we are taking away some cold. Now if you were taking away some cold, do you expect to get hotter or colder? Clearly hotter if you take away some cold. So we expect to go up from the 4. Let's actually go ahead and take away those two cold blocks. One, two of them go. So what do we end up with? Well, we can see here that we end up with six. So there's a very interesting thing to notice. Taking away two colds is the same as just pushing the temperature up by 
too. So taking away some cold will make it go up. We'll make it go up. And we'll get another interesting story if we look at something like this. Imagine this time we want to add in some negative. So let's think about this. We are going to add in some cold. Now, if you add in some cold to your mixture, are you going to get colder or hotter? Well, clearly you're going to get colder. So in fact, we expect the temperature to go down from 4. Let's go ahead and add in two colds. One, two colds come in. What are we left with? Well, we can see quite clearly we're left with a positive 2. And so we can see here that adding in a negative 2 is the same as just subtracting 2. Because you're adding in some cold, it makes the temperature go down. So it's just like you are subtracting. So let's recap what we've just seen. If we have 4 and we add positive 2, we're adding some hot, so we are just expecting things to add to go up. Easy. If we add negative 2, we're adding in some cold, so we expect the temperature to go down to subtract. So adding a negative is the same as subtracting. If we take away positive 2, in other words, we take away some hot, again we expect the temperature to go down, so we're subtracting. And if we take away some cold, we take away some cold, we expect the temperature to go up, so we are adding. So taking away a negative is the same as adding. Okay, I'm going to give you three to do on your own now. But before we start on that, I just want to show you this last one, this um, negative 12 plus 43. I hope that you can agree with me. What you've got is you've got negative 12 and you're adding 43 to it. Now, if you add two things together, right, like if you say 10 plus 5, it doesn't matter whether you say 10 plus 5 or 5 plus 10, you're going to get the same answer. And if you've got 7 and 8 and you add them together, it's 7 plus 8 or 8 plus 7, doesn't matter, you're going to get the same answer. And so if you've got negative 12 plus 43, you can just as well do 43 plus negative 12. And now you're gonna, I'm going to leave you to sort that out, but you'll see it gives you a nice easy way of doing these calculations. Anyway, let me pause the video and uh, let you pause the video and you do these three calculations and then we'll come back and look at them together. Okay, so first one, you are adding in a negative. In other words, you're adding in some cold. We expect the temperature to drop. In other words, we are subtracting. And so we've got negative 2, subtract 3, and so we get negative 5. So adding in a negative, same as subtracting. Here we go. We're going to take away a negative. So in other words, we're taking away some of the cold. So that's going to be the same as making the temperature go up, adding in the 12. And so we're going to get 28. And now if we have a look at this one here, we're going to say 43. We're going to be adding in the negatives. We're adding in some cold, so it's dropping. So we're going to have 43 subtract 12, and 43 subtract 12 is nice and easy. It's 31. So can you see, if we just have a look at those two, it's just saying negative 12 plus 43 is the same as 43 subtract 